Hi folks, this week on Big On Wine, we're once again down in the south of France and tasting one of my all-time favourites, a young Côte de Rhone, coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, uh, as you should know by now, brings you news, clues and reviews, keeps you up to speed about just about everything in the world of wine and my wine of the week for this week is indeed from the deep south of France from the Rhone Valley and it goes under the name of Cave de Cairan Sans Soufre Ajouté Rouge and the vintage is 2017 and this wine comes in for a price of just under 15 euro a bottle where I am Fine. All right. Let's uh, paint in some of the details about this wine. This is indeed a young wine. It's uh, what, uh, just under two years old at the moment. Um, produced by Cav de Cairan. And Cav de Cairan are based roughly 20 kilometres or so northeast of the town of Orange, a beautiful town, by the way. Um, about 45 kilometres or so away from uh, the city of Avignon. So we're in the southern part of the Rhone Valley here. Now the name of the wine sounds very romantic, doesn't it? Cave de Cairan Sans Soufre Ajouté. Mm. Unfortunately, the reality is much more mundane. Sans Soufre Ajouté simply means without added sulphur. All right, now we know that Sulfur or sulfur dioxide is used to treat wine to kill off unwanted bacteria and yeasts. So this particular example is one wine where sulfur has not been used. All right, the wine has an alcohol content of 14.5%, which means it's pretty good and uh, pretty high in terms of alcohol. And it represents a blend of two different varieties. Now these are quintessential uh, Rhone Valley varieties, red varieties. We have the Grenache or the Grenache Noir, the Black Grenache and the Carignan in this wine here. Now the uh, Grenache is a late ripening grape so it flourishes uh, in climates where there's a lot of heat well into the autumn so Spain and the south of France. It's often blended with Syrah or Carignan, Carignan in this case or Sanso to add a bit more tannin and colour and acidity. All right, so that's the kind of the general intro to this particular wine. Let's see how it shapes up. In the glass, it has that uh, quintessential uh, Cote de Rhone colour. So we have this uh, dark ruby red with just that slightest tinge of purple creeping in as well. Now Cote de Rhone, young Cote de Rhone wines rank amongst my personal favourites. Let's see whether this lives up to master. All right, take a look at the wine uh, in the glass and we can see it has that dense uh, dark ruby red colour. In the nose, let's see how it gets on in the nose. And in the nose, yeah, it has a very, very open aroma on this wine. Um, berries, very, very big on berries here red and black berries, I think. Um, but maybe, maybe the distinctive feature here is also, there's a touch of cherry in there as well, a touch of sour cherry, but red and black berries, and they are berries which we associate perhaps more with the north of Europe. So lingonberry, cranberry, Christmas, Christmas berries, but also blackberry. And in the background, there's that distinct spiciness, which I particularly enjoy in the Cote de Rhone. So an interesting selection of aromas there. We've got those red berries, we've got the blackberries, we've got cranberry, lingonberry, bit of sour cherry, and also uh, some spiciness. Very, very compelling mix. All right, let's try it in the mouth. Beautiful. I don't know whether it's due 
to the way the wine has been produced with that lack of sulfur or is it just a wonderfully well produced blend in itself but we have here a medium bodied wine with a relatively high alcohol content but it's not heavy medium bodied um, in terms of tannins I would say it's soft to medium um, very easily drunk this wine this one would I think be quite good for a beginner to uh, drinking red wine and um, the tannins certainly are not too overpowering in this um, the taste in the wine pretty much mirrors the nose so we're getting those aromas carried over into tastes here getting that cranberry flavor blackberry cherry also in the mouth and the acidity is remarkably good so this is a quite a successful blend enough carrying on in here to make the acidity uh, absolutely perfect there produces in the mouth a slight dryness um, but all in all very heavy juicy um, red and black uh, berries with a touch of uh, the uh, sour cherry in there as well mmm very very nice indeed now what are we going to be eating with our Cav uh, de Cairan here well I think we're looking at a wine which is a pretty good all-rounder now Cote de Rhone, young Cote de Rhone can certainly be drunk at a fairly cool temperature so I would be saying you know 15 16 degrees is more than enough for a wine like this this one is just about the right temperature I would say we're looking here at a perfect medium bodied red wine to accompany chicken or turkey but it would even stretch to a beef or lamb casserole that's what I would be pairing this with all right let's bring you the heads up on this one this is a wine to my liking this is a Cave de Cairan Sans Soufre Ajouté Rouge 2017 is the vintage peppery juicy blend of two southern Rhone red varieties good value for money not too heavy I'm going to give this wine four stars out of five okay guys many many thanks for tuning in and checking out this week's video and the little introduction to a sulfur free Cote de Rhone from uh, Cave de Cairan nice stuff indeed very much to my liking okay if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard then please do feel free to uh, give us that big thumbs up which we appreciate too much drop a comment down below we're always very eager to receive your feedback and comments share the video around follow me on my other social media platforms and hey if you haven't done so already please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me hit the bell icon as well and you'll be notified as soon as every new video is posted okay I'll be back again next week of course with another great wine of the week for you but until we meet again this is Tony Melville signing off and saying hey take care out there be good to each other enjoy your wines and cheers